Let's take a look at the achievements and of or the history of uh, Nicholas uh, Kiplaget Bet. He was born on January 27th, 1990, and uh, Nicholas Bet first Kenyan to win a sprint gold medal at the World Championships. This was in 2015. So we want to take a look at uh, his honors now. At the World Championships, uh, this was in 2015 in Beijing. Uh, he became the first Kenyan to win a medal in the, in the sprints category. This was in the 400 meter hurdles, clocking a time of 47.79 seconds. This was uh, in 2015 at the World Championships. So, so we move on uh, in the, uh, to the African Championships in uh, 2014 in in the four by 400 meter relays kenya took position three and he was in that team the kenyan team marked a time of three minutes 07.35 seconds this was in marrakech uh, in morocco we still take a look at the african championships uh, and uh, in um, Still in Morocco, that was in 2014. In the 400 meter hurdles, he managed to finish in position three, take, uh, get, putting in a time of 49.03 seconds at the African Championships. We are still taking a look at uh, his honors, uh, the achievements that he, he, he's had uh, so far before his uh, untimely dead, uh, death, rather, this morning. In the Commonwealth Games, they took position eight. This was in um, Gold Coast, Ali. Uh, this year, he took position eight in the 400 meter hurdles where he clocked a time of 51.00 seconds. The, that was in April this year uh, in Gold Coast Commonwealth Games that were in Australia. We're still taking a look at uh, his achievement, uh, that is for Nicholas Bed. And we now take a look at the tributes that came in after he was pronounced there. Now, President Uru Kenyatta said he was deeply saddened by the death of former 400 meter hurdles world champion Nicholas Bet, who died today in a tragic road accident. Bet and the country are great, uh, great honors in his outstanding victories. My deepest sympathies and heartfelt condolences, condolences to his family, relatives, and friends. That was what President Uru Kenyatta tweeted this morning. Muturi Mutuota, one of the athletics journalists uh, we have in this uh, country, said, What a dark morning. One of the so soft spoken and most of uh, affable athletes I've ever known. Nicholas Bet has just jumped his last hurdle in life and gone to heaven. Don't want to believe it. I'm numb. Rest with the angels. That's from Muturi Mutuota. Then uh, one of the athletes, that's Betsy Saina, says, uh, life is short. Rest in peace, Nicholas. Sad to see uh, the news. We still can't believe it's true. May you rest in peace. Then we have uh, Deputy President William, uh, William uh, Ruto saying, the passing of world champion Nicholas Bet is tragic and a big loss to his family, friends, Kenya and the global athletics fraternity. He made history in 2015 by being the first Kenyan gold medalist over a short distance in Beijing, China. And then finally, uh, Kelon Banda saying, unfortunately, we lost a legend due to a car crash. Nicholas Bett is a renowned 400-meter uh, hurdles athlete who has inspired many people, including me. I grew up watching him, and I pray for him and his family. Rest in peace, King. Hashtag Nicholas Bett. Those tributes that uh, came in after he was uh, pronounced at death this morning. Now, the National Women's Volleyball Team head coach, Japheth Munala, has refuted claims that surfaced on social media the national team will miss the World Championships due to half of the team being pregnant. Munala says that the team is in camp and preparations for the World Championships have hit top gear. For training, while we Na kabla hawa wachezaji tuwaza mazoezi nao kwa, kwa national team Lasema wanapitia na hitu medical test Wanapimwa kila kitu, wanakane hali yao Kwa zini mazoezi kubumi ya dunia Atuwezi kubali tu kuja hapa mtu kawa kama kuna mimba So tu, wanipitia hiyo yuangu zote Na saizi 
wako sawa. Hiyo ruma imetoka siji imetoka wapi mimi. Matuna majori yote katika squad yangu. Uh, tumepata gym kwa muda ambao na istahili. Atujapata shida yote kwa gym. Na kila kitu iko swari. Tangana mazoezi ili tupate final squad ya kwenda Japan. Unatarajia kufanya kikosi mbili? Ah, uh, Japan tunaenda mwezi wa 9, karibu na 20. Tuwe na one week training huko before the championship. Alafu squad tutataja maybe mwisho wa mwanzo wa September. Ali September tutataja squad ambayo itabaki kwa kambi travel kule Japan. Let's move overseas now. Chelsea capped off their pre-season by beating Lyon 5-4 on penalties as Stamford Bridge on Tuesday night. Just spilled by Anthony Lopez. He can score from long range, Danny Drinkwater. I'm not convinced it was one now. I mean, Smart balls in the middle of midfield. Memphis gets the angle and he tests the gloves of Booker, who turns it away. He has actually done. And Emerson. Blue shirts in the middle. Tammy Abraham was one of them. Chelsea don't get the corner, it's a goal kick. That's the difference. In the build up to that move there, Moses gets the ball in the way there doesn't tame the ball down to overlapping way player. However, there wasn't actually that much for it to choose from. Perry, pull on, green guess. Jorginho for Chelsea, oh, it's lovely. Let's have a look. Marcelo steps up and uh, sends green. Decides he will look and see how Barkley gets on here. Oh. Sent from a free kick, and he doesn't look up, and it, it Green saves it, and Chelsea have a chance. He run up from Hazard, looks very comfortable, well, Lopez went the right way, but... Robert Green saving a penalty as Chelsea capped off at their pre-season with a 5-4 win over Lyon on a penalties. And now we'll be looking forward to how they begin their season. Remember, the English Premier League season begins on Friday as Manchester United take on Leicester City at 9.45 p.m. That is where we wrap it on news that sports. And uh, Linda, it's, it's a sad day for Kenya. I know. The Athletics Fraternity. In the guy worldwide. was 28 years yes. in an accident. That is so sad. Yes. May soul rest in peace. It's a story uh, Elvis Koske did mention is following up. We've had lots of tributes from his colleagues, from his friends, from his family. Indeed, it is a sad day. And it is on that note that we wrap up news desk. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good afternoon. I'm Linda Bogutu.